Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and once again I'm back with my Yubo paper cutouts and stencils that I've been designing and cutting on the Silhouette Curio. And today um, I like the Yubo paper because it uh, doesn't tear. It's made out of polypropylene so it doesn't tear very easily. It's got a little bit of thickness, at least the version that I'm using, uh, 74 pound 200 GSM and I was just curious whether it would work well in a rolling mill. So that's what I'm going to be testing out today. Thanks for joining me and let's see what it does. I'm back. So I have a piece of metal just a piece of copper and I'm just placing one of my Yubo paper cutouts on top just kind of barely fits but I'm gonna go with it since it's just an experiment and I don't feel like cutting piece of <laughs> another piece of metal and then I'm gonna try something else along with this experiment I have this gold ribbon that it's that wire edged ribbon that you can buy in the craft store and a lot of times just to texture metal I use it and I love the look of it so I'm gonna try and see what happens if I sandwich this whole thing I don't know if I can do this so I'm gonna try and sandwich the whole thing inside that ribbon and then anytime I use ribbon or something that I'm really not sure of if it will wreck my um, rollers I just sandwich it in between a piece of cardstock just to try and protect my rollers and then um, there's lots of videos out there I have a Pepe tool um, rolling mill so basically you want to put the sandwich in between the rollers until you can't pull it out and then so on my Pepe tool I can set this gauge up here to zero so I know where it was um, where I can't pull it out I open it back up I close it to that zero and then I just close it a little bit beyond that and then tighten it just a little bit more uh, maybe just a little bit more you want it to you want it to feel tight but not too tight where you can't turn the crank so and I may pull it back through Okay, now the moment of truth. Hopefully that was tight enough. I'm going to try not to move in anything just in case. Oh, I don't know if you can see, you got an imprint on the paper. But not so much on the metal. So I'm back and I've annealed the copper and I'm going to do this whole sandwich thing again. I had to cut another piece of the Yubo paper because it actually stretched. It got pressed out and stretched rolling through the rolling mill. So, and my ribbon kind of got a little bit destroyed, but I'm going to try and do it again. And then same thing, wrap the whole thing in a piece of paper. Sorry, I should have folded the paper ahead of time. Just want to check and make sure everything's in line. It is. Okay, so I'm going to leave that tension where it was, so I think that was a good tension, and I'm going to roll it through and then roll it back. Let's see if annealing worked. Ah, much better. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. 
So definitely annealing is the way to go. Um, I'm even thinking what I may want to do is layer the Yupo paper. So cut two and then glue them together to make them a little bit thicker. But it's still like you can feel you can feel the ridge there. And then if you did patina or something on it, that imprint should definitely show up. So single definitely works. Double may give you an even deeper impression. I don't know if you can see in this lighting. Uh, probably not. Um, you do see that uh, ribbon. It's just a hint of the pattern. It gives it more of a satin look. So anyway, I will definitely play around with this, this technique. Um, Cause the cool thing is I can cut lots of different designs on the silhouette and then use them to imprint metal. So I think that's a winner. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Hi, I'm back and I decided to try to cut a couple of pieces and they are glued together. So again, two pieces of Yupo paper cut out on my silhouette. I mean, actually a little bit smaller this time to fit on one of these cutouts that I had. <laughs> I actually cut it a little bit too short, but since this is just a trial, I'm not going to worry about that. So same process. I'm going to layer in the ribbon. And this uh, circle has been cut and, and then annealed and then layer the whole thing in the paper. And then I'm going to run it through. Uh, it feels like actually it could go, oops, could go a little bit more. Feels better. Sorry about the shaking. I have the camera mounted to the same thing place that my rolling mill is. And once again, if you can see the paper kind of got extended, but the double layer did give a slightly deeper impression. So if you're cutting your own pieces or you have a couple of the same design, you can layer them and that just gives just a slightly different or slightly deeper impression on the metal. Either way, single or double does work. Uh, probably myself, I'd probably go with the double. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Hi, I'm back. So I wanted to just show you the results of this rolling mill experiment. So here's the first piece that I did and you can see, um, you can definitely see the imprint. It's a little difficult to get kind of the two-tone look that I like. Um, this was actually just using a uh, some heat to get a patina inside the design and then you know coming through with a buff and trying to get rid of it and so it it didn't adhere as well I, I I could go back and try it with liver of sulfur which is definitely what I will do but um interesting I left it this way because I'm trying to show you that the imprint of the ribbon is pretty clear uh inside that imprint which I just think is really cool so again, that was a single layer of the Yupo paper cutout. Um, there's the back. I didn't polish it up as well. Y you can see the imprint just ever so slightly. Um, so I would definitely go with the front on this one. And then this was the second one that I did with 
the double layer. Now, I didn't notice that when it first came out, so I will confess, I said I glued the, that double layer, um, but I actually didn't. I actually had taped it, <laughs> um, and I was kind of like playing around with it, so I think this edge of it wasn't adhered down as well, and so you can see it kind of moved and got like a double imprint, but up here where it was stuck down a little bit better, um, you didn't get it as much. But definitely a deeper imprint, much easier to get that two-tone dark and lighter um, shined up color. Now here's the interesting thing. On the back, you can see that imprint even more clearly, which I thought was interesting. Um, I did a, just a hint of a cleanup on the back, but not much. Um, but there is... The potential there of using the back as well as the front when you do the double layer uh, imprint. So again that's the Yupo paper double layered and then this is just another example different cutout obviously but a different but uh, same effect and then on the back and this cleaned up a little bit nicer and then on the back you can see that imprint as well. So with the double layer, as long as it's glued down uh, pretty securely, I feel like that's probably the way to go. Um, and I like it because you kind of get the option of using either the front or the back. So anyway, I will continue to play with this. I kind of like that idea, especially because you can use your own designs that you've cut out on the Silhouette Curio and use them with your metal for jewelry making. So thanks for joining me for this experiment and we'll see you next time.